What's going on, dudes? Welcome back to the vault. It's your boy, MC fucking hairy titties. Look at that fucking fucking jungle down there. Um, after five months, I will be doing another game review. Again, my apologies. I know these game reviews are really few and far between. Um, as I've said before, I I just have issues, technical issues. Um. And obviously, I don't really get a lot of time to play games, obviously, because I work so much. So, obviously, when I finish a game and I write the review for it, um, obviously, I watch more films than I do pl play and finish games. Um, and I'd rather finish a game before, you know, reviewing it. So I can obviously give you the full scope of what I thought of the game. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, having said that, here is another game review. And the game I will be reviewing, I'm going to try to... Not let five months pass between game reviews. I'm going to try and get another one out before the end of this year. But, you know, forgive me if I don't. But having said all that, um, having rambled on for over a minute, uh, the game I will be reviewing today is Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. Uh, I was very excited to play this one, so let's just jump straight into it. This one opens with our protagonist, Ethan, receiving a message from his partner who has been missing for three years before he sets off to Louisiana to find her. Um... The gameplay of this one is pretty much similar to the first four Resident Evil games. More so the first three. There's still the familiar uh, mechanics like hunting for ammo and health and combining the two so it's easier to survive. Um, the old mechanic of finding certain keys and completing various puzzles to gain access to more of the surrounding level was all strong in presence. Um, however, these have been changed somewhat to the point where it feels fresh and new. There are some new features added. For example, the fact that this is the first Resident Evil game that has you play in the first person. Um, you can also pick up certain syringes during the game that increase your, your health and decrease weapon load time. I really appreciated these little additions a great job making the gameplay feel free and not not at all repetitive and after you know six games already um you know they were probably under quite a lot of strain to make it different to the previous six games and they they really did that and they really managed to pull that off um i absolutely love 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 the story for this game you play as Ethan, who travels to the swamps of Mississippi to find his missing partner. And what a wild ride it is. Um, from the first moment I arrived and parked... Um, uh, and parked... Rehabs? Does that say rehabs? Parked my car? I guess that says my. I don't know why that all corrected to rehabs. I haven't looked at this, this in my notes for months. Um, as soon as you park your car... And, you know, start making, you know, making your way through the swamp. You know, I had no idea what to expect. The tension was there from the start and it just built and built and built in such a just a phenomenal way. I haven't been scared like I was with this game since the first two or so Resident Evil games, especially moving around the Baker's estate. I had no idea what was around each corner. I'm just so happy this franchise went back to its original roots with a gripping terrifying story and just interesting unique characters just really amazing i love that they didn't sacrifice the horror element in this game like they did with the sixth game naughty naughty um but they're still able towards the end of the game allow you to just go this by the end of the game they were still able to add in just plenty of action they'd gotten the horror out of the way and that was just full action you know towards the end of the game um like I said, I haven't been this scared by a game, you know, since the first two Resident Evil games. Um, that bit in this game where you kind of come up from the basement and you're searching for a way to kind of move further into the house. So you go back down into the basement and your your wife is just creeping up the stairs toward that. I Thank God I wasn't playing it in VR because, anyway, um, the graphics were also great in this. Certainly, you know, a step above the graphics in 5 and 6. Uh, the design of the monsters certainly helped with the absolute fear you feel playing throughout this game. Um, there are not many of the mold creatures, but what ones there are truly horrifying. Whether they are slowly ambling around a corner or leaping out of you from a pitch black corridor, the design of the various bosses um, is also really neat and cool to, to look at. Um, just a couple more things I really loved about this game. Firstly, it felt much easier aiming in this one. The last few Resident Evil games, aiming and trying to line up a decent shot felt like a chore, um, honestly. Secondly, I loved that there was no music throughout the game. It was just you on your own as Ethan accompanied by whatever ambient noise to freak you out. And I was freaked out on more than one occasion, as I've said, so kudos to the design team behind that. Um, 
I'm just super excited to to play um, The Village. I know it's been out for a while, um, but I, I need guides for games like this because I like to try and, you know, collect everything that I can. Um, but there we have it, guys. Um, the only thing I really learned from this was that there is no amount of money you could pay me to go traipsing through the, the, the Louisiana swamps. Um, but there we have it. Uh, let's just jump to the two most important questions. That's my review for uh, Biohazard. Let's jump to the two most important questions. Question number one, would I recommend this game? Is it good value for money? By this point, you know, anyone that's a fan of this series has probably already played this game. So you don't need me to tell you to, you know, go play this game. You don't need me to recommend it. You don't need me to tell you it's good value for money because you know, as someone who's already played this game, that it is incredible value for money and that, you know, that I would recommend it. Um, so let's jump to the next question. Uh, does this film belong in the vault? Um, my only issues with this game was that the last boss was a little too easy. Um, however, the other boss was made up for that tenfold, so it's a minor grievance. I forget the name of of the the boss you face. Excuse me. He in the game he's the father uh, of the Baker family, and his final boss form is truly terrifying and um, kind of unsettling to fight um but like i said minor grievance i love 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 this game uh it went back to its horror roots while still giving, while still giving you enough action uh you know to sate the action junkies out there um the graphics were great um the gameplay was changed just enough so that it felt fresh organic and you know uh and new so for those reasons there's that little diver starts gone off followed by a s slow amble from the mold monsters so there we have it, guys. This is my review for Resident Evil 7. As always, you know, if, you, if you've if you played the game and you loved it, let me know what you loved down comments below. If you played it and you hated it, I'd be interested to know what you hated about it, or what you disliked about it. And as always, guys, if you like what I'm doing here, please give it to like, subscribe, share this video with your friends, your pets, your families, your friendly neighbourhood, and in, 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 incest, incest, incestal, ancestral, no? Just your families that practice incest, I don't know. Until the next one, peace and love my dudes.